One, two, three, four, five. What do I do? We've been meaning to do a Q&A for quite some time, and we've just had so much going on with just this place right here that we're sitting in. So we're, we're actually doing this Q&A from, I was gonna say something different, but yeah, uh, from Grace and Bee Boutique. So this is our little shop here in League City, and it has consumed a lot of our energy and time the last probably for sure six months. Like Adam said, like we've been trying to and wanting to do a Q&A and just give an update all around. There's so many updates that we could give, um, but we starting, we're gonna, we're, we're trying to get back on schedule and routine of, of filming things and sharing stuff. And so, hey, here we go. <laughs> we did. We did an Instagram story earlier today, and we've also kind of been collecting some questions. There's some pretty recurring uh, questions that we get quite a bit, and pretty much on every single one of our Instagram posts. And guess and, which one it is. <laughs> <laughs> and one of those is, um, are we gonna do more episodes about Daughtered? We'll save that one for last. <laughs> and keep, you, uh, keep you in suspense. Another question that comes often too is health update um, on myself. You can do a quick, quick update. Um, okay, well, why don't you do a quick version of it? <laughs> a quick version. Let me do a quick version of Danielle's health. And I'll fill in if I need to. It has been a journey of like not knowing what to share because I don't know what, yeah. like, how to explain it. But what's and if really there's going no answer, still. then why do you share? Like, so yeah. it's just kind of been. Yeah, it's just been a lot and, and also trying to work through a lot of that. Is it fun to have sisters? Yeah. Yes. Yeah? No. No, Lulu, why? Maybe so. Maybe? Uh, if Olivia didn't have cause sisters... Because Riley keeps bossing me or something. Yeah. If Olivia oh, didn't have sisters, she would be at like church it. by herself. What? If you didn't have sisters, you would have you would went to church by yourself. Riley. I want that. Ava and Olivia. Mm -hmm. Start with me. You think they look cool? I want glasses. Mm. What, like? Basketball. Or why do um, you like basketball the best? I don't know. It's just fun to be able to run around and, like, bounce the ball. At home, I learned how to go in between my legs. Ava? Volleyball. You like volleyball? Okay, Riley. Um, I like soccer yeah. because you, um, we learn, um, and learn to get like um, really good at it. If I go when I grow up, and um, we get to shoot scores, and I'm with uh, my friends in soccer. Yeah, soccer. What's your favorite? My favorite is volleyball because. I want to do yeah. gymnastics because I'm really flexible. Yeah, you have a lot of balance. <laughs> oh, watch out, girl. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would um go with Craft 96 because <laughs> they had the big pets when I love the pets. Yeah, they have Ooh. what? Ooh, I, I like the pretzel. pretzel. And I like the pretzel. The big pretzel. Mm -hmm. I don't even like tiny pretzels. The real, <laughs> I like crunchy. Okay, Parker. Canes. Canes. Lulu. Um, 
but McDonald's because I love her. Uh, For the family? Is it personalized? For the family. For the family, what is something that we would always eat? Uh, mm -hmm. canes. What, Hazel? Mac and cheese at home. Mac and cheese? What, Riley? Mm -hmm. The place that has orange chicken. <laughs> I hate that place. Mm -hmm. You don't like that place? Yeah, you don't like that place. I, I tried the... Every mm -hmm. time I ask you, can we go to Asian Fusion? I'm like, can we go to Asian Fusion so many times? And you're like, no. What do you like at Asian Fusion? And the orange chicken and the noodles. Yeah. Oh, and the rice. Taco Tuesdays. Uh, Taco Tuesday. Um, Roblox. Roblox, okay. Um... Uh, hopscotch. Hopscotch? What do y'all like, Lily? Uno. Uno. What? Uno. Uno, yeah, I thought somebody was going to say Uno. What about you, Hazel? It's kind of a game. What? I got my computer at school. Oh, what is it? Dreambox? PBS Kids. That's it. It's not a game. They're, they have uh, games and videos on it. I love math the most. I knew it. Science. <laughs> science. Parker likes science. What do you like, Riley? Reading because um, I get to see um, um, the pictures and read the books and see if it's nonfiction or fiction. Yeah. You like fiction or nonfiction? Um, I like fi I like both. Uh, reading uh, is my least favorite subject because I don't like reading unless it's nonfiction books about animals. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be specifically on animals. Nonfiction is I real, and, and my fiction is not. Real. My favorite one is science because we did bubble up. I knew you were gonna say bubble up. Bubble up, <laughs> where you blow the bubbles. But these are my first two wiggly teeth. Five. I've, I've lost, lost like, three. I've lost you, three teeth. If you've lost a tooth, raise your hand. Like last. I, I haven't, but these two are my wiggly teeth. Five. My, I have two favorite animals. My first favorite animal is a meerkat. Yes, I got it. I got it. Really. <laughs> My second favorite animal is a pajama, pajama catfish shark because they're really pretty and they're not a really common animal. So I wanted to be a vet, but I realized that you'd only be working with at-home animals and sometimes you'd have to like put them down and families would get sad and stuff. And I didn't want to work with that, so I wanted to be a zoologist. So when we were shooting a TV show all the time, did y'all have fun having a TV show? Yes. What do you like? What do you like about having uh, the TV show? I like because I like because um we um we're on camera and um we we um do stuff like going outside. Or, something really fun. If we were to go do Mom, some, some more fun stuff Mom. for the TV show, would you want to Mom. film another episode of the yes. TV show? Yes, yes. What about Parker? If we yeah. were to film, what would you want to do filming? Um, go on go a trip. trip. Go on a trip. Go, go, go to the water park. park. Go to the water park and the beach and then the river. Remember when we went to <laughs> Disney and we saw the dolphins? Oh, yeah. I remember when we saw the pink ones. Mm -hmm. And we kept crying. <laughs> On the last season of Out Daughtered, um, we, it was really, or probably the last couple seasons of Out Daughtered, it was this season of discovery and figuring out what was going on with Danielle's health and we still haven't quite 100% found out yet.
A lot of it has come down to just levels of just like hormones and autoimmune struggles that I'm having and dietary things that I'm having. And I don't think a lot of this would have been known if I didn't have an instant of something affecting me that sent me on a, the, the rounds of like, you know, like what y'all have seen on Out Daughtered with, you know, the heart issues and all these things. And so a lot of my health issues I'd been having for a while um, and then they just all really started to escalate. Um, stress or not, I think I've definitely have learned that stress does, not that I didn't know this, but stress does play a, a toll on our bodies, which duh. We do know um, it's an autoimmune disorder. And so whenever it's an autoimmune disorder, it could be one of a thousand different God, things. So, many, yeah. so she's, she's seeing nutritionists right now that we're kind of like fine tuning her diet and eliminating certain things that she has sensitivities to, but also uh, getting routine blood work and hormone levels checked. And so we're trying to like level everything out and get it, um, get it everything at like at its peak and optimal levels. That's where we're at. Some days are great and she's perfectly fine. Other days, she's got a lot of pain and yeah. she's dealing with like headaches or just inflammation and just, so that's just where we're at. I mean, some days are great and some days are easy. You know, we do get a lot of criticism because it's like, you know, were y'all just doing that for drama, for the TV? No, I mean, a lot of days whenever Danielle's not feeling well, like obviously we're not putting a lot of, on social media because she just want to take, a, take it easy and take a break. But then, you know, you see a lot of the things where she's feeling good and we're out and about and doing things. And so that's why it just doesn't look like, you know, it's affecting her as much just because like on those days where she's feeling bad, we're just not shooting a lot of content or not doing Instagram stories and stuff like that because she's not feeling well. I will one day, maybe I'll just type up a blog and, and just kind of like explain a little bit more into, in, into details because I do know there's a lot of people who still ask me and say, I have the same thing, like, what did you find out? Like, what did you do? Like, I, th this, this is what I go through. And so I do want to be a source of like being able to share and, and provide information if it can help someone else. And so um, it's just been challenging because there's not like a, you have this and here's the answer. It's not like that. And so that's where there's like this gray area. So like, what, what, what do you share when there's not really much to share as far yeah, as like information any definite answers yeah so so there's a, a quick version of <laughs> of that <laughs> yeah not so quick you know the, so the big question is like so what is the future of out daughtered and um, you know some people ask is is a show canceled no the show wasn't canceled especially like last year and like and filming through like COVID, the, the the heat of COVID, it was just really difficult to film just because there was, you know, in the TV show, you want to film as much as you can outside of your house because, you know, just to have every single thing shot inside our house, it was, uh, it just gets kind of boring. Boring. You know, you, you want <laughs> to, to us, it's for sure it's yeah, boring. <laughs> you want to, you want to change the scenery and stuff. And so through that COVID year, like it was just, we were very limited in the where we could go and like, there was just so many restrictions on it, and so it just it drug everything out. Yeah. And you know, it wasn't necessarily because of TLC or production. It was just it was just the everything got shut down across the what, world. You what know? COVID so. was like, and so but it just became like a strain on everyone. And you know, it just whenever it takes you know almost a a year or a full year for just to shoot one season, whenever it would take three to five months typically. It was just a lot. Also coming into like the girls were in school full time and then they were getting involved in extracurricular activities like sports and stuff. You know, we would come home and you know, you'd have this small window of time that we could either film something or they were having to get ready for sports or, or something like that. I just got through like the last season and we're like, man, I think everybody, just needs the, a, the yeah. crew included, everybody just kind of needs a break. Girls are, you know, in, they're in first grade. They just turned seven years old where they can kind of understand things a little bit better. So we wanted them to just have this break we decided to take a year off of everything. Let the girls do what they want, go have some fun, yeah. take some trips. That's why like last year, like pretty much every single month we took a trip. Because and that was all it, because of our family health and reasons that we needed yeah. to say this was life like 
for all because ever since we've had the the girls and we've been a family of eight it's always been cameras around and so once we wrapped up that season we just took some time and you know I mean even up until today it's just kind of like we don't necessarily have like a date set to where we want to come back or we want to film out daughtered again you know we're, we're still kind of keeping things open and there's no hard feelings or animosity yeah. between us and the network or production or anybody like that it's just it's just the nature of our life right now and we've decided just to kind of take a little bit of a break and regroup as a family and you know we're just gonna see you know what's next and we do have a YouTube channel and clearly if you're watching this you know <laughs> and so you know the girls the girls love shooting YouTube videos that's why we've continued to shoot YouTube videos you know in this time off I have seen some criticism of people like okay yeah I know that you guys aren't shooting the show right now but why are you still shooting YouTube like and you, you know you're always on camera and because stuff because this is our con this is our fam yeah. like this is our family footage too so yeah regardless if we're sharing it on YouTube or not Adam's bringing that camera and there's so much that y'all don't see that cameras are like our cameras are for and and you know on our phones capture and you know um, our girls it's literally home footage to them even out daughtered was it's a buzzworld YouTube's home footage to them to them it's almost the same thing they love seeing themselves us still choosing to share is not a we're doing this over this or rather this or there was some animosity or some break it was literally like you know we need to change a pace for a while and we got it like god saying y'all need to heal for a little bit and whatever that means in any way like mentally physically just taking a breath like um, bringing the family bonding back together it just is a healthy decision we felt led we needed to do and so yeah. um that's really what it it came down to and and there was a, there was some other stuff that like we wanted to do you know personally that you know things in our life that like we were having to say no to that uh you know it gives us the ability you know through this season to like say yes to some things that yeah. we've been kind of pushing off for a while and you know church exciting, related stuff yeah. and like serving related stuff and you know that's just been one of those things that's like uplifting uplifting for us yeah it's uplifting to us because we do feel that like this is a good decision this is the right decision we've had this decision going on for almost a year now and so we do feel revived and like re replenished i guess is the better word from just having a break like i said for six years since we've been a family break, we didn't know anything different and so it's been healthy for us to kind of just step back and just know that like we're in a phase of like we do have visions and do want to do more and we just don't have a place of saying it's going to be x y and z so we're still like in our process mode of um revamping and like saying okay well, like we're ready to like figure out what where god wants to put us next like where where is he wanting to use our presence and to speak to those out there um where is he wanting us to lead others where is he wanting us to serve and so there's so many questions out there that i feel we are called to do and can be used as a servant of god and so we want to do that whether it's youtube whether it's no youtube whether it's uh network television show whether it's not a network television show we just want to listen to you guys and like where's where are we going next and so that's that's where we are today right now is we don't know what it what what the future holds yet right now and so um but it brings some excitement and um some peace and some comfort just knowing that like we've been able to really just breathe and like have just seen joy in a different way over the last year and and I think it's just been healthy for everyone to just say like we live in a fast-paced world in life and sometimes we just need to step back and and just say like this is good enough the show is never canceled uh, we're still in talks with the network and communicate with them and you know it's just right now we're in this phase of just wanting to take a little bit of a break and so we're in the middle of that break right now and we're just waiting to see like what's next for us and what we wanted we want to be involved in and what we want to do next and what that looks like and so we're not saying no, but it's, we're just not saying right now. So that's where we're at. And um, yeah, I mean, that can be the end of this little Q&A. And I'm sure we've gotten a ton of questions. So we may have to do another one, you know, here in the next few weeks or whatever. Yeah. And may, may make this like a little recurring theme. 
and, uh, and do a few more of these Q&As until we catch up on all these questions. <laughs> so thank you guys for, uh, for just sitting around and hearing our heart. Thank you for just being such great fans of us and the show and our YouTube channel. Look forward to many more videos and many more fun moments with our family. We ain't we'll going see. anywhere. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're not going anywhere, so we'll see you around real soon. All right. Peace out. See you later. As the girls would say. Love you guys. <laughs>